Cool. Let's do it. I'm excited. So, this is your bike, Michael. Thank you so much again for letting me ride it. I'm very excited. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. What, what is it? First of all, I don't even see a badge or anything. It's kind of funny. Everyone's like, oh my god, is that a Harley? What is this? Because uh, it's the classic version, so it has no details, no branding on it. What's but it is a Harley. No. It's a Yamaha V-Star 1100. A Yamaha. Three, I'm going to like it then. <laughs> you think it's yummy. <laughs> um, since it's a classic, it's got the old style pinstriping and the uh -huh. paint, which you don't see very often, which I also like. Um, even though it's 2003, I mean, the cruisers, the things just don't look dated. Yeah, no, it's a classic look, so yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, a lot of custom work was done before I got it. You'll notice the, the headlight, the triple forks, the little gauge over here. Yeah. And it's on this side, some of the engine all has black powder coated. It was custom done, like the air filter, this right here. All of it was black powder coated by one of the prior owners. Even the, the frame powder coated black. Yeah, yeah. It's not just a pure chrome monster. It, it, it kind of adds a little more uniqueness to the bike. Yeah, I kind of like how the body's black, but then like you get the pipes that kind of pop out, you know? It looks a little nicer, yeah. The only thing I don't like, which I have no idea why 1100s did this, this is the oil cover right here. You notice how the exhaust is blocking the whole goddamn thing? <laughs> so to do any work, you gotta take off the exhaust? Yeah, there's a relocation kit, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Yep. Um, and then I put on a windshield myself, because, dude, highway wind is serious business. That is not fun. Exactly, yeah. I feel really funny wearing like my sport bike gear on this. <laughs> you gotta be safe, man, yeah. You gotta be safe. It doesn't take anything but a three-cylinder Geo Prism to kill you. Oh, this is the craziest thing I have ever ridden. What's going on, guys? We are on a Yamaha. Fuck, I do not remember the name and model make of this bike. It's an 1100 Cruiser. Big girl. Big boy. This thing weighs like 600 goddamn pounds. I feel like a motorcycle cop. <laughs> this is the strangest thing. Oh, man. It's comfortable as fuck. It is so comfortable. Should I try downshifting it? <laughs> it works. That's so funny. Oh my god, this handling. What even is this? <laughs> Tons of torque down low. It's just an easy rider, man. This thing's fucking cool. It's so chill. I keep putting my feet like right here to try to like be a sport bike on it. This is the most bizarre feeling ever. It just cruises, bro. Look at this. This is the comfiest thing ever. It is just like a couch on wheels. Man, this is unbelievably comfortable. Oh my God. Bro, you, you literally can just chill for days on this. I can't even believe how comfortable this bike is. Beautiful downtown Dallas right there. Man, for certain applications, this makes all kinds of sense. All kinds of sense, bro. Holy crap. You get a feel for the handling. <laughs> it's fucking huge. Oh my god, it's gigantic. Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> this thing's insane. This, I don't, I honestly, it's very difficult for me to objectively talk about this because it is so different than anything I'm used to. You guys gotta understand, my buddy Mike who's letting me ride this bike, he has a commute from Fort Worth all the way to Dallas. If you're not familiar with the area, DFW stands for Dallas-Fort Worth. There's two cities that are, people think that they're like close on the map, but they're really not, honestly. People think that Dallas-Fort Worth is somehow like 
you know, one giant thing, and it kind of is, but to be honest, very few people make the trek from Dallas all the way to Fort Worth, because it's about 45 miles to and from. It's pretty far, but Mike commutes from Fort Worth all the way to Dallas throughout the week, so something like this makes a lot of sense. It's a real torquey, nicely weighted bike. It'll get you from A to B. Mike uses this thing to commute from Fort Worth all the way to Dallas, and I can completely understand why he chose this sort of bike to do that. It's so comfortable. It's the most it's the most comfortable thing I have ever ridden on two wheels. I used to think that FZ09s were comfortable and that FZ1s are comfortable. This is another level. This is I am literally sitting like on a couch right now. It's insane. He also has this little pad right here for your palm. So I mean this thing is basically just set up to cruise on a highway for a long period of time. Got to use all my fingers on the brakes because, oh my god, this suspension is unreal. I can kind of see why Jake wants one of these. If his back is that bad, you can just cruise on one of these all day. Feel so goddamn American! Yeah! <laughs> I can't I can't break and downshift because my knuckles and fingers keep getting caught in the middle there, but so I'm having to like forefinger it and then two finger it. It's you know like a porno basically. Leave it to Yami to go into downtown traffic with a bike he's never ridden before. This is really smart. This is like the smartest thing I've ever done. I wanna take the pearl exit. I used to live down here, actually, in case you guys didn't know. I used to live right over that way in downtown Dallas. That was an interesting experience. I probably wouldn't live in the city again. It was kind of... Like, the littlest things were so annoying. way the fuck down because I have no idea oh my god yeah this is probably the slowest I've ever taken this roundabout but you know what when you're on this big old boy you don't even curve you get used to it pretty fast it, god when I first got on this thing I was like I'm so sorry Mike I'm probably gonna wreck your bike but you know, after you get used to it for a little bit, it's really not that bad. Ah, oh, damn, this is horrifying. This motor is so vibey. My whole handlebar is just like shaking like that. <laughs> Neutral? All right, cool. This thing is the most interesting bike I have ever ridden. This is truly bizarre. It's honestly not hard to ride though. And despite it being 1100 cc's, it's really not that fast. It's really manageable. All right, let's make this turn. Oh dear God, I'm gonna die. I'm good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Jesus Christ. I have no idea how far it can lean over at all. It. <laughs> I'm not used to this kind of stuff whatsoever. Uh, it feels like a big old boat just like leaning over. It, you know, in comparison to like cars versus bikes, like the, the comparison I'll make is this. Um, the Daytona and bikes like that, they feel like like a like a Porsche 911 or like a Cayman or something, you know? Like middle middleweight bikes feel they don't feel like hypercars, obviously. The, that's like leader bikes feel like that. They feel just like, you know, really proper setup sports cars. This feels like a 1972 Camaro with a big old V8, no work done to the suspension. Feels like the most American thing ever, even though it's technically a Japanese bike. Having to change up my technique a lot here to make sure that I can brake and downshift and do all that. I'm feeling like chase on two wheels right now in this downtown traffic. But it's nice. You guys always get me in the uh, suburbs. You never see Yammy riding around in the lovely downtown Dallas area, which is permanently under construction right now because we have so much investment going on here. This is some huge building they're building over here now. This wasn't here last time I was here. Pop, 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 pop. Downtown Dallas. Dun, 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 dun. Low speed maneuvers are really interesting. You have to really drag the rear brake to make it feel stable.
handles bumps like a champ though. Oh, Main Street District. This is right where I used to live. Taking a trip down memory lane. Still has that lovely downtown garbage smell. So I used to live right in that building right over there with the yellow sign on it. Good old downtown Dallas. Right over here, the Kirby building. What an interesting time in my life that was. This is still isn't fixed. Of course not. You know what bike I really want to try is a uh, Triumph Rocket 3. That would be amazing. <laughs> Shade Tree Surgeon, I know you have one, hit me up. I'll fly out to Florida just to try your bike. The funny thing is, cruisers are so popular here in America and specifically here in Texas that you don't even get looked at twice on this thing. Whereas when I'm on my bike, on my Daytona, dude, everybody's looking at me. Just like, what is that, what is he on? Who's he, who's he doing, what's he doing, what's he doing? It's ludicrously comfortable. Load up. Let's go in here. Make sure it doesn't fall over. The low speed handling is so strange. I am not used to this at all. This is really a test of my abilities here. This ground is completely disheveled, dirty. Oh God. Okay, no one is coming. I'm gonna go. Feeling like a big old boy. Uh oh, brake. <laughs> the brakes are so, so slow to respond. Because the bike is so big, you know? It's got so much mass to, to actually stop. With me on it, I'm, it's probably close to 800 pounds. I'm on a real back. Get it in first. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is fucking cool. It's really comfortable, but I, man, I just, I just love sport bikes so much. I love being hunkered in and in my bike and leaning over super fast. But this is, this is completely different. That's how you have to take it. It's the most opposite of a sport bike that you can possibly have. It just chills, you know? It's, you can literally tell by the way it handles, the way it picks up, the way it does everything that it was designed to do something like this. Just cruising on a highway, just chilling in top gear. Just cruising, man. I really feel like I can appreciate the world around me a lot more. I can, I can really just kind of like watch things and take them in, you know? I don't feel super pressured to, to ride fast or, or do anything like that. Do I have another gear? I got another gear, boys! I got another gear! Oh, baby, so burly! <laughs> When I first got out, I was like, oh, I'm going to die. This is this is not good. <laughs> I was like, this is too big. This, I'll, this is crazy. This fucking tank yeah. Bikes, yeah, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And then like, as you pick up speed, it's just like you said, like everything feels a little more normal, natural. You're like, okay, yeah. Yep. I don't know what the highway's called over here with the big bridge or the big like suspended thing. But I took that and I was just like, man, this is fucking dope. It was just like, I was like, I, I understand now, you know, like I understand why a lot of American bikes Cause I mean our roads are like really big and straight so it makes sense to just like just chill you know it was really fun <laughs> Jesus Christ holy shit this thing is so fast I'm probably gonna go to jail 